Preview. Preview. There's a prophecy by the Hopi Indians, a prophecy by the Hopi Indians that may be in process here. What? There was nine signs of the last days that were prophesied by the Hopi Indians. And one is shocking. It is this, number nine, the last sign. And this is the ninth and last sign. You will hear of a dwelling place in the heavens above the earth that shall fall with a great crash. It will appear as a blue star. Very soon after this, the ceremonies of my people will cease. Now, this is a Hopi Indian prophecy of the last days. You will hear of a dwelling place in the heavens above the earth that shall fall with a great crash it will appear as a blue star. Very soon after this, the ceremonies of my people will cease. Well, China's international, China's uh, space station, known as the Heavenly Palace or Heavenly Dwelling Place, is going to come crashing to the earth. And get this, they're projecting, scientists are, it will hit the earth in lower Michigan, and uh, it may not hit in Michigan, of course. That's the highest probability will be lower Michigan, but it could actually be anywhere in the world, really. But it's projected to crash on April the 3rd, which is the day that Christ was crucified, of course, April 3rd at approximately 33 AD. So what we're seeing here is an incredible... I mean, when you ever read the nine signs of the end times by the Hopi Indians, you know... You, you take everything with a grain of salt. But when you talk about that ninth one, what a, what a strange, I mean, think about this. Who in the world would come up with a sign like this? You will hear of a dwelling place, a heavenly palace, if you will, crashing from above the earth, coming down and crashing and falling with a great crash. It will appear as a blue star. Very soon after this, the ceremonies of my people will cease. The end time, the last days. Well, this heavenly palace is falling, and it's going to crash the earth probably approximately, best calculation by scientists, April 3rd, the day Christ was crucified, April 3rd, uh, and the highest probability place it will hit is lower Michigan, about three hours north of me. Now, it could hit anywhere in the Midwest, and actually, it could hit in a lot of different places, Here's what the uh, what they're preparing for with this 8.5 ton Chinese space station made of cheap Chinese steel and aluminum. At least that's what the president says. And experts say Michigan is the highest probability of impact. But the Tangong One spacecraft has been out of control since September of 2016. And the agencies around the world have been monitoring the doom and the gloom of the craft's descent. Lower Michigan is among the regions with the highest probability. And to re-enter the earth, experts say, on April 3rd, give or take a week or so. So, you know, again, they're trying to narrow. They know it's coming soon. Around 10 to 40 percent of the satellite is expected to survive the reentry as it begins to come apart in the reentry. An out of control Chinese space station with highly toxic chemicals on board. Well, that's not good. So these highly toxic chemicals are going to become uh, chemtrails for somebody. Now, it's believed that this heavenly palace, as it's known, or heavenly dwelling place, as the uh, would be prophesied by the Hopi Indians, will come crashing to the ground. It could hit northern China also, or it could hit central Italy or northern Spain. The Middle East has a possibility. Even New Zealand or Tasmania, South America or southern Africa. But more likely, the northern states in America 
with Michigan having the highest chance. So we got we got a long way to go with this. Really, we really, really got a long way to go with this, but we're going to continue to watch it. I just find it unbelievably fascinating that it is a heavenly dwelling place going to come crashing to the earth and it was prophesied to happen by the Hopi Indians as the last sign of the end of days. Now, of course, I don't follow Hopi prophecy. I only follow biblical prophecy and I only truly believe biblical prophecy. But I do know that uh, there have been clairvoyants and seers and different uh, psychics and different people who have hit a few things right ever, ever now and then. It's just quite strange. Even Tecumseh's brother, the prophet, uh, was able to see things of the uh, U.S. cavalry coming and helped his brother Tecumseh fight off the American armies for quite some time with his prophetic revelations and dreams and Nostradamus and others. Okay, so we know that there's other people and other cultures who've been able to see things in advance. But if you want to understand true prophecy, 100% correct, always follow biblical prophecy as it was inspired scripture by the Holy Ghost given to men of God and women of God who would receive this powerful prophetic word and it always came true. Anyway, Let's just watch, where is this thing going to crash? And uh, why is the apocalypse potentially tied to this crashing heavenly dwelling place, this heavenly palace, the Chinese space station? And did the Hopi Indians see it coming so many years ago? Yeah.